Welcome to the month of May 2024. It's a great pleasure to be connecting with you again on the, this very month as we explore uh, a new theme of the month based on the person of the Lord Jesus. Remember I said to her, this is the year of the Lord and the first four months we focus on the person of the Father as first member of the Godhead. Now, this is the second segment of four months starting to look into the person of our Lord Jesus Christ as the second member of the Godhead. And so we're hoping up this month of May, the month of grace and truth. Therefore, we are looking at grace and truth as is revealed by Jesus Christ. And it is anchored on John chapter one, verse 17, which says, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Now, in the preceding verse, it says, Of his fullness have you received, have you all received grace for grace? So this is the revelation of Jesus as introduced by John. Remember, of the four gospel writers, John focuses on the person of Jesus as opposed to the ministry of Jesus, which the other three gospel writers focus on. Because John is trying to reveal who Jesus is, the pre-incarnate Jesus, the, the, the divinity of Jesus, and also what Jesus Christ came to do. And now that is going to be beneficial for us if we believe and trust in him. So we start off by looking at the word grace and truth this month. So I welcome you to the month of grace and truth. And we are going to be looking into the depth of how grace and truth combines together to become a potent factor in our walk with the Lord. It's come to give us grace. Now, truth without grace is devastating. It can kill. But thank God that the law can kill, already kills in the, new, in the whole Testament. But in the New Testament, grace is revealed. But grace is mixed with truth so that when truth is spoken, it has to be gracious so that it doesn't kill. These are all the things, the words of Jesus that we are going to be looking at. Remember also, Paul makes relevant this grace issue in Acts 20, 32. That I commend you to the word of his grace that is talking to the elders of the church of Ephesus in Malta, in the highland of Malta, said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. That is able to build you up. So God's words of grace are what we are going to be looking at this month so that we can be built up. And also, St. Paul makes us realize abundance of grace has been given unto us. Because if by one man's offense death reigns, how much more they will receive the gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace shall reign in life by one Christ Jesus. It's time for you to reign by grace in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord bless you and keep you, that the Lord makes his face to shine upon you, that the Lord be gracious to you, that the Lord lift up his countenance towards you and grant you peace. God bless you. Amen. Amen.